God on Earth. Heaven Letter Number 5120. December 1, 2014. How big can a heart be? A heart can encompass all the earth and heaven. If thoughts reach far and beyond, what can hearts do? What do hearts do? They reach everywhere and into every other heart on earth. Can this be documented, measured, and counted, and a chart made of it? You don't know how, and we don't need charts and such. I need no proof. I see. I know. You might say that I get this intuitively. You must know by now that I don't have to get on my knees with a ruler or measuring tape and measure anything. I know all. I know your face and your heart. Being is simple for me, just as creation itself was and is simple for me. One this is very simple. It is the ultimate simple. Simple is good. I will say it is better than complicated. I have free will, and it is my will that life be simple. You make a huge investment in this lifetime. Huge. I invest, to use your word, all of myself yet I, God, love holy and am not attached. Do you think I weep when an individual body drops off and the living soul rises to heaven? That I'm not sad does not make me hard-hearted or cold-hearted. I welcome the beautiful soul who is also in no way bereft. I am not attached to life on earth whereas you are attached. Understandably, you are attached. Nevertheless, you are connected to all that which is not on earth. You have great connections, beloveds, yet they are more like subterranean to you. This doesn't mean that other dimensions do not exist. If there are words for other dimensions, they do indeed exist. In truth, you are aware of them. You already know there is more to life and the universe than the eye can see. The heart knows all. Your heart knows all. Within your heart, I am. I know this is hard for you to accept, that I could really exist within you, that I, the source of all knowledge, do really exist within you, and am fully active through you. I, stillness itself, am activated through you. Whatever you may sincerely believe and think, you are my presence on earth, as unaware of this as you may be. Regardless, you are growing to my girth on earth. You are right now expanding my presence. It's not exactly that you make me vaster, for there is no vaster than I am, yet more of me is getting through to you. You may well be noticing more of my grace on earth. There are moments when you feel a greater something, whether you can voice it or not. You are on earth for greater welcoming of love on earth, and your greater expression of love on earth. Heretofore, you may have scrambled your love into confusion not quite allowing it to blossom, not fully feeling that you are worth to love and be loved, that you perhaps don't have permission to love, not quite feeling that you were to love, perhaps feeling that you are to brace against love as a matter of course, not quite trusting love as real, love to you or from you. You have found love suspect. You may not quite dare express love, perhaps fearing that it would be swiped from you, and you would be left bereft. What you have been attached to is to your individual self and your existence as an individual. Certainly, you have thought that you exist as an individual. For much of your life, you may have thought that you existed only as an individual, and you held on as tightly as you could. This was for survival. You didn't know that you exist with or without your individual self. You may not even love yourself, your individual self, or regard yourself highly. Yet your individual self was all you knew to cling to. You didn't know that you didn't have to cling to anything because you are everything. How little you knew. You could have been named king of a country, and yet have no idea of the breadth and depth of yourself and the full extent of what you ruled. Yet you will. Everyone will. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org